Wait, what? You wouldn't need to interpolate the snow. You would just jet. The snow is the snow is CGI. You don't need to interpolate it. Are you people just using words to use words? Oh God! Like this is interpolated. Why would? Why do people do this? Right? This is not real 60 FPS. Is this when they brought in the special team, or was this the shitter team? Oh, this is the special team. You can immediately tell. Tabletop Barbecue spends hundreds of dollars commissioning a fight animation for season finale. Well, this is cute, I guess. Sure hope that wasn't actually hundreds or thousands of dollars. Ooh, damn. I don't know, dude. This shit probably took a long fucking time to do. Is it a full minute's worth of animation? What? The backgrounds are pretty sparse. I wonder how much, how long would this have taken to make? Do you think this would have taken... Do you think this would have taken like over a hundred hours to make? There's like a guesstimate for like about how long per frame. This parody of League of Legends Rise looks better. Just because a parody looks better doesn't mean that it's like less work. What the fuck? This is like a professional animation team. What the fuck? This is some high quality shit. What? This has to be made by a studio. This isn't just one dude. It's really fu- The thing that sucks about animation is it's really hard to understand how much fucking work goes into this shit. It seems really easy. Like, images are easy, and arguably, 3D stuff is not that difficult. Um, because really all you have to do is script that. But like actual like 2D animation, this shit takes fucking forever, dude. Holy shit. This stuff is so time consuming. 3D animation is not easy. Well, I, I mean, I guess it depends on what you are doing. I think 3D animation has the capacity to be much easier than, or, when I say easier, I mean like less time consuming than 2D animation. Um, I mean, unless you're talking that like you're like Pixar where you're like making the engine yourself and then like doing hardcore detailed, like individual work and everything like, um, you can interpolate the frames, right, Destiny? So you don't have to create a new image every single time. What? When you do 2D animation, you don't interpolate. No, you have to you draw every frame. No, you don't. Wait, for good 2D animation, I'm like 99% sure that you draw that you draw most of the frames. That you draw every frame, don't you? I don't they get. I thought the whole point was like you get like good animators to do keyframes, and then you get like interns and shit to fill in like the frames in between and shit. Okay, can somebody link something? And I just want to link and read me. Do you draw every frame animation? People are saying interpolation, but I don't understand how the fuck you would interpolate drawings like this. I don't know if people don't know what interpolation is, or if there's a more advanced type of interpolation that I don't know about, like... In between frames are modified, not entirely redrawn. Well, like, you're not, like, redrawing backgrounds and shit, of course, right? Like, I don't mean th Hold on. I can't tell if people in chat are retarded or if I don't know what I'm talking about. We're, um... Animation by one, two, three, four. So what's animating on ones, twos, and threes? Mean? Okay. Well, the number represents the number of frames that each drawing is. You don't do it. The decision of which to use balances everything from image quality. Okay, fuck. Hold on. I don't know how. I don't know how like autismo chat is going right now. I maybe we needed to back up. Okay, so like. When I say that everything is drawn, I don't mean that like in this animation, that this is being redrawn and this background is being redrawn every single time. We, you know that I understand that, right? Like, or, I'm sorry, holy fuck. I feel like I'm so charitable in debates. My chat is the least charitable to me. I don't mean that like every single fucking time, like that this background is being drawn hundreds of fucking times. But like, so like for this kid moving on the screen, hold on, um, isn't there a way to slow down Okay, so like this, every single frame here is being hand-drawn. Wait, if I go forward, will this go frame by frame? Isn't there a way to go frame by frame? So like, that's one drawing, that's a drawing, that's a drawing, that's a- There's no way this is being interpolated by like a computer. This is another drawing. 
That's it, right? This is interpolated? Uh, ha with a computer? There's no way. Wait. You are misunderstanding. So let's say someone draws a hand with a finger pointing to the left, then another frame with the finger wags and points to the right. You can use interpolation in which a computer draws the in-between steps. Wait, really? I need links. I need links. I, Because I have a good idea in my head of what interpolation means for, for when a computer applies an algorithm to do it, and that would not work with animation. I, I need links. Somebody needs to, like, show me, like, a link. Because my impression... Oh, wait. Like, this is being drawn. That's drawn. That's drawn. This is, like, all of these frames are being animated. With, with maybe keyframes done by lead artists and then, like, other people filling in, like, in between. Like, all of this is a new thing being drawn. That's a new thing being drawn. That's a new thing being drawn. These are all things being drawn by people. No? Click Imperian's link. Okay. Okay, do you guys consider this interpolation, or do you guys consider this him drawing everything? None of this is interpolation. Okay, yeah, this is not interpolation. This is drawing everything. Flash animation. Also, this is a little bit different, but even in this flash animation, like, any good animator wouldn't use interpolation, and no interpolation is good enough to substitute animator. Yeah, that's what I... Can you define interpolation so everyone knows what you're talking about? Sure. This is my this is what I think interpolation is. This is my understanding of it, okay? Interpolation is where you have two frames, okay? One is a frame of a person moving across the screen here, and then another is him being here, okay? Let's say that we want to get a third frame generated right here, but we don't want to actually draw it. What we can do is we can apply an algorithm that will take these two frames and make intelligent guesses about what an intermediate stage request. would look between the can two of these things. Can you turn YouTube to dark right? mode? No, I'm not turning YouTube it to dark mode. It hurts my eyes when I watch you from bed sad, Pepe. So we generate a frame using a computer algorithm that intelligently tries to put together what would come between these two stages that will be on screen, screen for a brief moment, right? But this isn't actually drawn. This is what my understanding of interpolation is but you would but unless there are algorithms that are incredibly fucking advanced that i don't know about insanely fucking advanced there is no fucking way that you could interpolate these images they would look like jarbled messes or maybe i'm wrong i can't imagine that you could interpolate these frames these have to be drawn you underestimate modern computing like, I would imagine that all of these frames are done, like, all of these drawings are done frame by frame. So that's a new drawing, that's a new drawing. Obviously not the entire fucking thing, but the moving parts. You're right, you can try interpolating anime to make it 60 and they look messed up. Yeah, it looks like fucking garbage. You're getting baited hard? You're not wrong, your chatter's artistic. Okay. I feel like I'm getting semi-good at animation right now, and I have no idea what anyone is talking about. I think you don't understand Interpol. They're a very effective organization. Nice meme. There's no interpolation could be used in this kind of animation destiny. I have a degree in animation. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. No, no, okay, so what I was getting worried was, was that there's like some type of hyper-advanced like animation algorithm that can actually like generate... like, And I guess it's theoretically possible. But um, for example, the snow is probably interpolated in this animation. Wait, what? You wouldn't need to interpolate the snow. You would just jet... The snow is... The snow is CGI! You don't need to interpolate it! Are you people just using words to use words? Why, why would you have to use interpolation to generate the snow effect? This is very simple CGI. What degree does that guy have? My Academy of Arts graduate, you can most certainly interpolate. Wait, I can't tell if people are just using this word as like a meme word now. So like all of these fires are being drawn, I would guess. No, for sure. Yeah, this is like a this is like an animation that's drawn. Every frame of this is being drawn. Not the snow, obviously. The snow looks computer generated. That's a drawing. So like here, him moving across the screen, these are all drawn frames. They have to be. There's no way. There's no way a computer can do that. I mean, or maybe it's theoretically possible, but I don't think it's... There's no way that this is done by a computer. These are drawn. These frames have to be drawn. That's a frame. That's a frame. That's a frame. That's a frame that's being hand-drawn. The whole movie is just an interpolated dream a computer is having. 
This is easily interpolated. I did it myself. Okay. I'm going to introduce you to a feature of Adobe Flash known as class of tweens in Flash. Classic tweens are for symbols and usually involve motion, scale, and color effects. Shape tweens are for vector drawings. You can draw something and then draw create a new. So or these are basic patterns that I acknowledge you could do this for. Cover but like when this type of shit is used in animation, I think it's very fucking obvious. As soon as like CG or computer algorithms are being applied to things, I think it becomes like very obvious. Um, like in Death Note, when you see like cars and shit driving. Not necessarily here. There are better scenes. Where's the one guy? Um, fuck. Like when you're watching anime, do you ever see like a moving vehicle or some shit? And then all of a sudden you're like, um, you're like, fuck, who is the one guy who's like driving to the studio and he's about to die or whatever? Fuck, I can't find it right now. But like you see shit and it's like, oh shit, that's definitely not drawn. That's definitely like a CG animation or that's definitely like a computer. Like you can tell immediately. Like it, it jumps out at you like instantaneously. Um. Oh God, like this is interpolated. Why would why do people do this, right? This is not real 60 FPS. Okay, I, yeah, okay. There are TVs that do this shit automatically now, too. I don't know why. Most animation is not 60 FPS. I don't think... I don't know of any animation that's actually done natively in 60 FPS. Does anybody... There, I'm, there might be one example, but... Interpolation is being applied to smooth out TD animations using machine learning, but I don't believe it's applying to current moderation at paper here. Oh, okay, sure. I could believe that. How did this guy become like a... Wait, why did that guy grow his arm back when he got into the Titan and turned into one? Is that just like a power they have? Is that ever explained? I read the season two synopsis and I stopped watching this anime after season one because it sounded full on fucking retard or dumb. It is explained. Why did I get linked this? Okay. So yeah, when I said hair, I was talking about like a bunny, you know, so when you said you was eating your hair, you was, hey, could you pass me that water bottle? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is a one liter water, water bottle. bottle. My, 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 my best, best friend, friend used to buy one, one liter water bottles. But he's gone, gone now. Um, you gonna pass Ever that since water? that day, he went bungee jumping. I never seen him again. Um, what? Damn it. <laughs> Alright, bro, I'm gone. I'm gonna see you later, man. <laughs> this is. <laughs> this. This doorknob. Dan, is there any character stronger than Madeira Uchicha? And I don't mean the Uchi- <laughs> No problem, bro. You can go first. Though. Listen. If you watch that stuff, I think lower of you. It isn't like the fucking power level 9000 guy, the creme de la creme, the super saiyan, whatever the fuck it was. I don't fucking know, dude. Can you just chill? You do know. And by the way, just a comment earlier. Um, the interval <laughs> stuff is possible now, but I don't think anyone's done a good job of it. You just have to kind of combine it with AI machine learning. I know that sounds really buzzworthy because it's not just taking the average between two frames and trying to fill in. I they think interpolate the thing is that like in AI. interpolating real life, I think would be easier than interpret interpolating animation. That's the problem because real life is so much more predictable than animation is between from frame to frame. Like the choices that you make in terms of what you draw and what we become accustomed to seeing in terms of movement from frame to frame in 2D animation, I, that sounds so fucking hard. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible. Obviously, I think that AI could emulate conscious one day, right? I, so I mean, I don't think it's impossible, but I think I feel like interpolating actual like two-dimensional animation making the decision of what to have in each frame would be so fucking hard to do
Well, you would do it by feeding it in all the information. Like if you were doing I know it how you would do it. Dragon Thank Ball you. C. I'm just saying that I don't. Okay. Well, yeah. th then you know I know how machine learning, learning works. Like I get the fucking gist of the neural network and the doing 50 million fucking spams until it gets closer to the correct answer or whatever. I'm, I've never seen it done before, though. I, I, it'd be interesting to see it, but. Listen, calm down. Don't get so uppity, all right? I am just uppity trying to right now. I'm out. very upset right now. Imagine unironically caring this much about anime. Seriously. Can you chill? Red line tell red. Oh, holy shit. This is all drawn. This is all hand drawn, right? With no computer assistance? Red Line tells the hyperkinetic story of the Red Line, a galactic illegal racing ground. Or I, I shouldn't say no computer systems. I mean, I'm sure they use effects and shit, but like, which the entire galaxy. If the idea of watching a took them seven about years to make doesn't appeal to you, don't worry. Red Line is to racing over a hundred thousand hand-drawn images. Class of tai chi. Do you have an anime that you would say is the best animation? Like something you would point to as pure skill? Rocco's Modern Life. Shut the fuck up. Um, I don't really have like the depth. Well, no, I should say breadth, breadth of um animation to know that. But my favorite animated thing um was the uh, was the final fight scene of this sort of the Stranger film. This was my favorite animated thing of all time. I think it looks like super, super, super gorgeous. But um, there are a couple of Naruto things that look really good as well. But in terms of like overall, like this is like showing movement, I guess. In terms of like overall, like gorgeous animation or whatnot, I don't know. There've been a couple of like animes that look really good. Um, does One Punch Man look good? I mean, it looks good. I don't know if it's too flashy for my taste, but that doesn't really have anything to do with like. There's gonna be 50 million fucking dipshits right now that are gonna spam. That's the point in chat. But aren't breadth and depth interchangeable here? Well, I don't know. Breadth is usually width of how much you've seen. So like overall library, depth is like how deep you've gone in a specific thing, right? Is this movie good? Um, I mean, this is like super standard revenge flick movie, I guess. It's like about as standard a story as I could go. You would watch this. I would say that this movie is very forgettable, except the animation is good. That's the only thing I remember about it. Well, I mean, I remember the story because I remember the movie, but. Is this when they brought in the special team or was this the shitter team? Oh, this is the special team. You can immediately tell. The normal Naruto animation has like some really shit fucking ultra bright colors and shit. This is like the people they bring in. I, I, I could never watch an anime that does this, I don't think. But they bring in like another studio to do like, um, I guess like some episodes. But it like, it stands out so bad. Or like, it's such a huge difference in quality. They bring it in for movies? Oh, is it really only for movies? I thought some people were saying it was for episodes. At least for Super they did. I haven't been impressed with any of the Dragon Ball animation stuff. The thing that sucks about doing stuff like this is that, like, all of this takes so much time and it's on screen for, like, two or three seconds. Like, in a DBZ movie, I don't want to say Dragon Ball Super because maybe, but, like, in a DBZ movie, like, you would do, like, two seconds and then go, like, and, it would, and that would fill up, like, two or three or four seconds of screen time. And it would all be, like, like um, it would be copy-pasted frames and shit. But even for, like, a little thing like this, where, like, every frame has to be, like, hand-drawn and, and you're not getting to, like, copy-paste a bunch of shit, which I guess what this studio does, but, like, fuck, this show must take so much time to do. Yeah, Dragon Ball Super is definitely better than DBZ, but nothing I've seen in Dragon Ball Super is, like, remotely near what I've seen from, like, the people that do this animation for some of the Naruto episodes, or, like, sort of The Stranger or some of the other things we've seen. Most of these drawings are super simple, all the colors are simple. Yeah, but there's a lot of animation going on. Did you say Super was better than DBZ? Animation-wise, Super is definitely better. I might not know enough about animation, but I thought that the, um... I thought that the, um, this thing, Kakashi? I don't know these fucking new. I thought this was more impressive than Dunno that. Dunno if someone answered, but the accent earlier was Irish. Thanks. This is like the most impressive thing I've seen from like a Naruto shit. I feel like doing, um, uh, I feel like doing this hand stuff, like actual, I don't want to say actual martial arts, because I don't know if they're doing real moves or whatever, but I feel like doing simple stuff like this, where you're not flying around the screen and shooting fireballs and making it look interesting, I think is really difficult. Or it seems to be. Um. Destiny, this is the final fight of DB Super. It has really, really good animation in it. Yeah, like this kind of stuff, where you're not, like, flying around the screen and, like, shooting fireballs, I feel like is, is a lot harder to do and make it interesting.
So I have like a really big appreciation for this kind of stuff. It is, and changing angle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Changing angles and shit? I don't, I don't know anything about animation, so I don't know like how hard it would be like. I feel like doing shit like this, like getting this all to like, this is, holy, I don't know how you would even go about doing this. I would, I, this is something where I would be like genuinely lost. Like if I was going to probably just try to do this, I feel like I would spend like months like on figuring out like this type of opening. Like it seems like it would be so fucking annoying to do. Holy shit. It's a 3D rendered background. The background is 3D rendered, of course, but the uh, but the animated characters are clearly animated. They're not 3D. Um, they're not 3D animated. I don't think they are at all, or unless it's 3D animation that I've like never seen before in my entire life. Um, I guess technically, um, Cowboy Bebop's and um, this movie animation was really good as well. Ah, oh, we didn't get enough Cowboy Bebop. We needed more seasons of this anime. Best hand. Yeah, dummy. Put that broom down. Haven't we met somewhere before? If you have a gun, why would you walk right up to someone? It's Fucking love, idiot. Look. The jump suit does Never watched it, should I? Cowboy Bebop? Absolutely. Terrible. What a... That's a good meme. I think it's accessible enough for everyone. <laughs> Cowboy Bebop must have been a big budget anime, right? This is obviously the movie, but even the normal anime That's stuff was like pretty decent, I think. One of my favorite things about 2D animation is that, like, 2D animation holds, like, stands the test of time. Hardcore. Like, this animation was fucking... Was it 1999? Um... Was this movie 99? And this, like, 100%, like, not, not even looks just as good as, but, like, this will look better than, like, standard anime, where the people aren't, like, putting a lot of money and time into the scenes and shit. Was this 2001? Oh, it was 2001. Yeah, this is like, if, you, if you're if you willing to dump like a lot of time and money into an animation team, you can draw something that will look good for literally like 20 years. You absolutely cannot say the same about CGI or 3D effects. It's not even remotely close. I think that's kind of cool. Toy Story 1 looks incredible. Well, kind of. Um, yeah, anything done by Studio Ghibli will still look amazing today. Um, the reason why Toy Story 1 looks incredible is the same reason why Fortnite looks incredible. It's because you can. there are certain styles that you can do that don't require as much detail, so they'll always look okay. So, I mean, I guess you can argue that like certain CGI will look good if it's limited in terms of what it's attempting to do. So, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say, like, Toy Story 1, like, looks okay. The same way that, like, Fortnite looks okay, because everything is done, like, very cartoony. The humans look pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I wouldn't say they look bad. They, they look somewhat appropriate. Do you think a lot of it has to do with the fact that CGI is technology-based and technology is evolving very quickly to things, like drawing and 2D art, which hasn't changed? Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, like, 2D art, and again, this kind of goes into my, what I was saying earlier, where I was getting triggered. Like, I don't think there have been shortcuts for 2D art. Like, 2D art is just... It's not flying. It's brute fucking force. Like, you need an animator that's good, and you have to sit down and fucking work on it. But if you're willing to work on it, like, then you'll get something good. But that's, I think 2D art is still pretty much there. Like, we've got a lot of, our CGI assistance has gotten better, where CGI is more smoothly integrated. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the early, early CGI that was used in some of these animes. It looks really bad. What the fuck are you talking about saying there's no shortcuts for 2D animation? As far as I am aware, now I'm not saying that you can't do some stuff digitally like on a drawing thing, right? And, and you don't have to use like physical fucking paper. As far as I'm aware, and if you disagree, link me a fucking source, okay? As far as I'm aware, if you want to get a good looking animation, you have to get a good artist to sit down and fucking draw it out. You can't shortcut that. You need a really good artist and you need a fuck ton of time to do it. That's, that's my impression. When these guys move, it's like so obvious that it's like CGI. It looks so bad. Oh my god. Is this actual footage from Desert Storm? Remember when we were kids when they said we would have Gundams by the time we were adults? Fly flying around and fighting each other? I remember. I'm coming. Damn, damn. Come on. 
I don't know how to put into words why interpolated shit looks so bad. I wish I had a better way to describe it, but like, it just, it doesn't feel like, I don't know how to describe it. Uncanny Valley? No, it's not that. It's just, it's, uh, I don't know how to say it. I'm not sure. It's the artifacting? Maybe it is. It doesn't even have to be just animation. Like, interpolation applied to, like, TV and whatnot looks like shit as well. Have you seen a movie shot at 40 FPS? 48 FPS? No, I haven't. No, no. If something is natively shot in 60 FPS, it looks a lot different than something that's interpolated. I, I don't know how to explain it, though. I'll be back. Walk a little, walk small, talk big thoughts. Gonna tell them all just what I want. That street, two streets, I see you and me hanging on the end of swings.